It's the first Friday of Advent and we keep thinking about the light in the darkness. And uh, as we prepare for the coming of the Christ child, you think about those wise men, those magi from the east that came, they were led by a star. And even now, I heard a story last night that was just so, so moving uh, about the light of Christ in the midst of terrible pain. It's a story actually from a star of the North maternity home, which is in Duluth. But you may know that there's uh, an effort really, uh, some parishioners really were the, are the key leaders pushing this forward here in Hibbing to uh, hopefully start very soon a maternity home here for mothers who are in crisis. But listen to this story of a young woman, we'll call her Michelle. The joy that the new mom, Michelle, expresses about her baby and daughter draws you in like a powerful magnet. This is from uh, Star of the North newsletter that just came out. The 28-year-old resident at Star of the North gave birth on August 11th, right in the middle of working her way to a happier, healthier life. It had been a 10-year struggle. At age 18, talk about darkness, she found herself in Los Angeles with a man who forced her to use heroin, forced her into human trafficking. Thankfully, her parents never lost hope. They hired a private investigator to find her. And that was considered the first miracle. They found her. They found Michelle, rescued her, and brought her back home. But life still wasn't easy. There's still challenge and darkness. So even that first miracle was threatened, we hear, by an abusive relationship back here in Minnesota. A boyfriend who beat her, even strangled her, and sent her to the hospital. The next miracle, escaping the abuse and finding safe haven shelter. And at that time, she found out, Michelle found out that she was pregnant. Safe haven helped her connect with Star of the North. Star of the North's been open for a couple of years now in Duluth. In Michelle's words, it's really key that it is a Christian home because I feel like that was my missing piece. Other times I've been to counseling, I've tried all these different things, the missing piece was God. How I found this house, the women here, why things have fallen into place. She said the missing piece was God. So Michelle achieved sobriety and now she has Jesus Christ in her life. So she tells us, it's such an amazing thing that has happened to me. It's a miracle that all the times I've overdosed and come back, Harmony, her daughter, is her saving grace, she says. She's so healthy and happy and because I live here, Star of the North, I have all this time and attention to focus on loving her. Again, I feel like God made that possible. So Michelle's excited for her future, looking forward to getting some training for skills for a career in the short term, finding her own apartment, which she'll be supported to find with this uh, program. She has a job and a car, but most importantly, she says, freedom from the sadness, guilt, and shame. She tells us she's finding light amidst the darkness, I mean, a deep darkness of life. But God brought her light. She says, I'm so happy right now. I feel like it's realistic for me to be a good mom and not worry about how I'm going to survive. I am truly, truly grateful. It's my moment to shine and to feel God's love. Talk about the warmth and the encouragement and shining a path forward from the light of Christ which is shining too through those who are really sacrificing to make this maternity home possible. And pray God that that happens here too in Hibbing. Sounds to me like it's on the cusp of happening. Uh, and there's an event tomorrow, uh, December 4th, Saturday, uh, in Hibbing. It's at JJ's Coffee and Cream. That's It's like called, I think, an artist trunk show uh, where you can go and, you know, if put it this way, if there's clear support for this maternity home, if that becomes evident in the next week or two, uh, there will be a board of directors that's meeting to, to decide a couple of weeks from now whether there will be a maternity home opening right here. So our support could be crucial in making this happen. Michelle says of her experience, I will tell you, there definitely was a higher power that was working for me. I was in such a state of shock. I didn't have the skills to communicate and I just wanted to isolate. But God helped me to get these resources. I was not in the right state of mind. That's why I want to be a chemical dependency counselor, she says. I think this is my calling. 
With everything I've been through, I could help people. We will see what doors open and what God puts in my heart. So what a testimony. The light shining in the darkness, the real life here with real darkness, you know, with real light from Christ, and for those that are choosing to sacrifice and serve so that Michelle and those in crisis, as she is, can find mercy, light, and peace. It's an Advent story, and let's continue making sure this kind of light shines in our world. Peace be with you.